I'll start by congratulating South Carolina. Um, they played clean. They played very well. Uh, they hit some pretty good pitches at times and, and didn't miss mistakes when they got opportunity. And, you know, we had a couple plays that had we made, you know, it's probably a, a little different game. You know, the couple runs that we gave up there in the seventh, uh, we set that up with a mistake defensively, and a couple of those runs, or one of the runs in the sixth, we set it up as well with a, a defensive mistake. But like I said, they did exactly what they had to do. They took advantage of it, squared some balls up behind those mistakes, and and scored. And I thought we, I thought we played really well through six innings. They scored their first two. We answered with one. They scored the next two. We answered with two more. Um, and then the two they put up there in the seventh kind of put us chasing it at the back end of the game. But uh, they pitched well, they played well, and they certainly deserve to move forward. You know, we're certainly looking forward to it. Uh, he's – Kep has a lot of really good leadership qualities. And um, early on, yeah, he got off to a quick start opening weekend and then – kind of hit the skids and, and really struggled mentally and, and was struggling some with his swing. and then, But he hung in there and he, he continued to work. He, he recognized what he had to do and uh, never one complaint. It was continuing to get after it. It was helping his teammates uh, even though he was on the side. And, you know, I think that meant a lot to his teammates, the way he went about it. Uh, until he got things going a little toward the back half and we rolled him back in there and, and he's been a leader since. Uh, we're, you know, like I said, we're certainly looking forward to having him back. By the way, if anybody's wondering why I got my sunglasses on, I, they are prescription sunglasses. I can't see without them. So. <laughs> and, I don't have my, and I don't have my other glasses. So. Coach, you are the only four seed to make a regional final in what does that mean? And kind of like I talked about earlier, as far as the program and kind of taking that next step or getting close. I think we're really close. Um, you know, unfortunately, we came up a little short. We, you know, we felt like we had enough pitching depth finally uh, to work our way through. Uh, and we we still have to continue to work to clean some things up on the on the defensive side. Uh, I'm. Really proud of our seniors, the leadership they showed. Uh, proud of our young guys, our freshmen and sophomores, that, uh, and even some of our first-year transfers coming into our place with the maturity that, that they developed throughout the course of the year. Um, and certainly looking forward to, to seeing where those guys eventually grow. Um, a really good group coming in next year, too. and. So, you know, I, it's hard to sit here and talk about that and think about that, but, you know, unfortunately that's the next step. And uh, we'll get a chance to say our goodbyes to our seniors and see what happens with a draft with some of our juniors and then try to piece it back together and be ready to go again. But I like where we are, and I think we're, we're moving in the right direction. Kids played really well at the back end. Coach, the resiliency of this group after that Friday night game against ECU, they could have come out just laid down. Just being able to come back, win that 13 inning game, have the rain delay, what does it say about this group? Uh, tough kids, uh, believe in each other, trust themselves, um, and they've done it throughout the year. Uh, they've had to learn how uh, the first half. We've, we've lost some games during the course of the year where uh, we had it handed to us. And they showed back up the next day ready to go. And they certainly did it again this weekend. 